happy Tuesday everyone. I'm back here today to talk about some of my favorite spiritual tools which are my Kate King um, vibrational jewelry and today's spotlight is from my beautiful Avatar Mystic Quartz whose name is Avatora. Avatora was specially made for me in Bali um, Besides this beautiful avatar mystic, she also has tanzanite. Now tanzanite is actually my uh, engagement ring stone that I unfortunately grew allergic to the band so I can no longer wear it. But I thought it was really special to have that tie into there to remind me of the love between my husband and I that started back in 2002. So connecting with avatora, what was really fascinating is that this minute I opened her, I knew she was a queen. Now, in one of my really amazing past lives, I was a queen of Atlantis, known as Queen Atlanta, for over 4,000 years. And Queen Atlanta um, helped the Atlanteans escape um, when the continent was going to be sinking. And she helped bring people to Egypt to, to try to keep the wisdom and um, the knowledge of such a great high civilization. And Avatora reminded me that this period that we're going in right now, in a lot of ways triggers me personally, because in those final moments of Atlantis, when I was still there, I pleaded, I begged for my people to listen, that things weren't going to turn around, that there was too much darkness, that we need to get off of our beloved continent and our home and start fresh. And while I know that at least, I want to say 10,000 people followed me there, a lot of people didn't. And I've seen it in, um, in other visions is for some reason I went back to witness the destruction and that destruction nearly broke me. And so there's probably definite parallels because right now it's like I'm trying so hard with my own family for them to not do this to themselves, you know, but all it's doing is making me sad and making me worried. And this little tanzanite isn't an actually an anti-worry stone, so I gotta remember to wear this more. What you may notice is that um, when I do videos, often I'm pairing these two together because they're representing love and wisdom. And so this actually has the ray, the golden ray in it, which is of, you know, enlightenment and power and beauty and blessings. And it also has the violet ray in it, which again is about opening up, you know, to higher beings. So it's a, it's a really powerful combination. Now again, when I opened her, I knew she was a queen. I felt so blessed that she was blessed for me by a, a high priest in Bali, and most likely, you know, on a new moon or a full moon. And when I put her on, I feel empowered. And it's also for people that are walking masters, for people that fight for injustice, for people that are teaching others about enlightenment. So again, why I wear it often when I make videos, and also, I wear it every single time I do a Reiki attunement because I truly believe that it's helping me give my students something spectacular, not just a Reiki lineage, not just a connection to the star beings, but a connection to something greater than themselves, greater than me. So I thought I would read a little bit more about, the, about her and, you know, you decide what calls and speaks to you. As I've said before, these are amazing, amazing spiritual tools. Right now I have um, four beautiful pendants that work with me every single day. I have two onks that I love. I have some really powerful crystals um, that I hold in my hands, which right now if they're my sister crystals, there's a Lemurian and Atlantean one. And of course I have all the attunements from all of my teachers that work through me. But I know what part of the reason why, why I have such powerful healings is because it's what I embody. And what I embody is faith, is a connection to God, is a belief in energy, is connecting to all these star seeds um, 
and my galactic brothers and sisters, but also always bringing that energy down to earth. So a little bit more so that the mystic avatar quartz is a golden ray of unity consciousness and connects with the aspects of our soul, with the higher aspects of our soul, while the violet ray of transformation unites this energy with our spirit. Avatars are the manifestations of supreme beings in human form, fighting against injustice, restoring the balance of nature, teaching enlightenment, secrets, and wisdom. It helps you walk with grace, empowerment, and purpose. And this stone connects to the wisdom of the divine and activates our desire to create good for all. Definitely, it's activated me. I know. I know my family thinks I'm too much. I know other people think I'm too much. I get it. But what would you do if you knew you could save people? How far would you go to help them? Right? So I just like to read a little bit of my dialogue with Avatora. And they don't come named. You do your work to connect with them and you figure out where you know them from and what they're here to help you with. So she says to me, Queen Atlanta, I'm a representation of you and all you hold dear. Your passion for healing and awakening others is not new. You're the kind of person that doesn't want to leave anyone behind. You know my essence well because it is from your fire and your desire, the desire to teach and to heal and to share that I came into form. Never has a stone been created for you more than I. While I love that you wear me for attunements, understand I'm here especially for you at this time. Your voice and energies are needed. More than ever, Queen Atlanta has been called back to the planet to help us all heal, remember, and ascend. The fall of Atlantis was one of our, your darkest hours, but it hurts you more knowing that you couldn't save everyone. These are the energies you are reli reliving. Don't I know it? I am ready to speak through you. Note that together we can accomplish great things. My love is with you and I will forever be yours. What a sweetheart. You see that baby? Look at her. And that's how I've come to understand my crystals. That they are... They are some of my bestest, bestest friends. Just like I have amazing, incredible guides. The Lion Beings, Sekhmet, Archangel Raphael, Jesus. The list goes on. The Arcturians. These are just as much a part of me as them. And often when I heal, I try to wear all my gems to give my clients, to give my students the best attunements and healings possible. So as I've mentioned, I am uh, a referral partner of Leanne and Emily who work with Kate King Jewelry. I believe in this jewelry so much that it is my honor and my privilege to share it with others. And you have to probably have a budget in mind because bigger pieces can definitely cost more money. The bigger the piece, the more powerful it is. But, but, there are sizes for everyone. Maybe not everyone's as flashy as I am. Um, trust me, I would wear bigger ones and I will <laughs> as time goes on. Um, but you have to find what's right for you. But the thing is, you don't just go to the website and look. You book your complimentary vibrational analysis with Leanne and Emily, whose link is in my bio. And then you go through what are three things you really want to change in your life. They'll go through what your astrological sign is, what that means for you, and then they will find you the perfect gem. So they'll give you a selection of them. And from there, you will figure out what you're most drawn to and trust your intuition because you're never wrong. So I'm really happy that Avatora got her day in the spotlight. Um, I hope to have some more coming my way soon. I have a citrine in my head and a Pariba Spinel that I would really like to call to me. But for now, I'm really happy to work with the ones I have. And the next time I do an introduction, we'll talk to this beautiful High Priestess, Mystic Quartz. Find out her name and see what she's all about. So my light and love are with you as always. I send you many, many blessings. 
It's been a very interesting time and I just want to let you know that I'm here for you as much as I can be. Call on Queen Atlanta, my higher self, she will come. She's doing an amazing job healing people in their dreams, in their healings, in their attunements, and everywhere else she shows up in meditations. So I'm so grateful for that higher as aspect of myself. And I know that you have a higher aspect too that you can call upon. Okay? So much love and light. If there's a freedom rally in your city, I encourage you to go to it. I will be there spreading light and sharing activations and clearing out people's chakras and spreading love. And I hope that wherever you are, you can do something similar. So peace be with you. I love you. Thank you.